In D.C., there will soon be a new addition to the 14th Street area northwest. It's the Whitman Walker Health Area. It's expanding its footprint in the Logan Circle neighborhood. Mike Kanin is covering the story for us. And the new state-of-the-art medical center will offer expanded programs and services for patients. You visited the new location. What would you come up with? It's all in the same neighborhood. Yeah. And the Elizabeth Taylor site at 14th and R Streets Northwest is not going away. But in 2014, Whitman Walker's direct medical care services will move a couple blocks south into a brand new 43,000 square foot building. We are now living in a post-healthcare reform world where more people will have insurance. Um, and more people will choose to come and get basic medical care from us. Since 2006, Whitman Walker Health says its patient population has nearly doubled in size. And with the neighborhood around it continuing to grow, officials decided to expand its foothold with this new location at 1525 14th Street Northwest. 60% of the patients that come to the Elizabeth Taylor Medical Center are in the five zip codes that run north-south on 14th Street. Staff will continue to focus on serving D.C.'s gay community and providing care for HIV and AIDS patients. But Whitman Walker officials say they're also evolving and expanding. And while patients won't be housed here, the center is being referred to as a health care home. And home connotes a lot of support, a lot of love, um, and a lot of compassion. And we want people to embrace that term home. With more space, there will be more exam rooms, a bigger pharmacy, plus new optical services, acupuncture, massage therapy, and the dental program will triple in size. Meanwhile, the existing Elizabeth Taylor site will be used for administrative functions and community health and wellness programs. Smoking cessation, uh, helping manage mild depression, uh, nutrition education, and managing obesity. Now, to add services and programming, of course, Whitman Walker will need to add to its staff. The current staff, about 25 employees, will be expanded over the next 18 months. It's also worth noting, like the Elizabeth Taylor site, officials say the Max Robinson Center in Anacostia will still be used for patient services and administrative offices. Morris? What about an urgent care clinic? So many urban areas, even the suburbs, love to have urgent care in their neighborhoods because... When you need something, you can get to it. Any plans for that? Well, uh, there are no current plans for that. If that were to happen, it'd be very far down the road. Right now, Whitman Walker wants to focus on this health home strategy. Mm -hmm. They want to have patients think of them as a primary care, a preventative care center, not somewhere you'd go last minute if you have an urgent care need. They really want people to think of them as the doctors in the neighborhood. All right, Mike and Aim, thank you.